You can access the files for this exercise by visiting the optimization course on the apmonitor.com website and then scroll down to the dynamic optimization section in the lecture notes and select that you'll see a downloadable zipped archive that you can open up and you'll see the Python folder inside the AP monitor folder and those are the files that we'll be working with here okay so first of all we're going to create a model file now this is a uh, exponential decay function with upper and lower bounds on k y is my measured value the variables I have three uh, for initial condition for x and then I'm going to try to minimize the difference between model and measured value subject to that differential equation. The dollar sign is the differential term. Okay, and then I have a data file as well. I'm just going to fast forward through this one. These are just time and y values, and this is going to be used in my objective function. And uh, these are one uh, time intervals uh, for each of the uh, data points. And I have some overrides here. I mode is just dynamic estimation. Nodes equal to three for each time step, and then status of one for k. Now I also have to classify certain variables k, y, and x as manipulated, as uh, fixed, manipulated, and state values. And I'm going to generate a new plot here with y and x on that plot. Okay, so now um, I can also take this file. I don't even have to use Python. I can just take this file and plug it into the web interface. I'm going to copy this and go back over to the apmonitor.com website, solve optimization problems, plug this into the text box here, and then I can click solve. But first of all, I need to select dynamic estimation and then click the green button to solve. And then I scroll down and I'll see the solution there. Okay, so there's my solver output. Uh, and what I'm going to do is select view solution results and select one of these tabs up top and then select trend one. That was my new trend. And I can see Y and X on that same plot. You can't see Y very well because the two match up. Okay, now I'm going to go to Python and do the same thing with Python and make it uh, an interactive script within Python. I import APM and select my server and application names and I clear any previous application that was there. I'm going to load my model file, the APM model file that I just generated, and then I'm going to solve the optimization problem. Next I'm going to open up a web viewer and this is going to open up my, my default web viewer. I also want to bring these into these results into Python and be able to plot those. So I'm going to do that with um, the pyplot, the matplotlib, and then generate uh, this plot with a new figure. Uh, plotting the model and the measured values and a legend there with an X and Y la label and then I'll show that plot. So let me open this up with IDLE and uh, then I can run it uh, either with the F5 command or I can select run module and that will bring up this plot. Here's the web interface as well that was brought up in in this case Chrome but it'll bring it up in your default web browser and there I can see uh, some of my my values are on the plot. Okay, so um, this is the value of x, for example. I can browse around. I can look at the different options. And then if I put my mouse over one of those values, it shows me the different options that are available. Dynamic processes and the differential equations that describe them are found in many places, math, science, business, engineering. We're going to go through four examples here, one in Excel, another one in MATLAB, Yet another one in AP Monitor modeling language, that's with the MATLAB toolbox, and then again in AP Monitor with the Python toolbox. We'll not only solve these equations, but also show how to do dynamic parameter estimation or dynamic optimization.